All right, guys, let's go ahead and, and insert some documents. The one thing though, I just renamed the Mongo folder to Mongo note because it was a bit confusing in the command prompt. So I just did that. Going back to our mongodb.js, we use the above code to connect to the database fruits. Now let's go ahead and save it as insert.javascript. Now the first thing we need is a collection. So variable collection is equal to db.collection and name of the collection is apples. Now we also need documents. So variable document one is equal to let's say name red apples color red we also have a second document is equal to name green apples and color is green now we can go ahead and insert the documents using collection dot insert now the collection here refers to db dot collection apples so wait collection dot insert the first one is the document so since we are having multiple documents let us pass it as an array so document one comma document two and the second argument is a callback function so function takes error and result now if there is an error in inserting let's log it so console.log error now if there is no error we can say console.log percentage d docs inserted and we can just use result.inserted count And we also need to move uh, db dot close. Did I just do okay? Db dot close should be moved inside so that the connection is not closed before the result is returned. Just save it. Go to your folder. Open command window here and say node insert .js. Right, so it says we connected to our localhost fruits database and we inserted two documents. So if we say use fruits, sorry, Mongo, and then use fruits, we switch to db fruits. So db dot apples dot find dot pretty. So we have inserted the two documents. So in the next video, let's see how to find the documents using Node.js.